Welcome to the News at 4. I'm Doug Petcash. One of the last people who saw J.J. Vallow alive was on the stand today for day 13 of Lori Vallow Daybell's murder trial. Vallow is the Rexburg mom charged with murder, conspiracy to commit murder, and grand theft in the deaths of two of her children, J.J. and Tylee, and her husband's late wife, Tammy Daybell. News Channel 7 Shira Matsuzawa has been covering the trial at the Ada County Courthouse since it started nearly three weeks ago. Shira, what unfolded today? Well, Doug, David Warwick took the stand today. He's the husband of Melanie Gibb, who's the former best friend of Lori Vallow, but his testimony almost didn't happen today. In court today, he revealed that he heard part of his wife's testimony and saw some articles about the trial. The judge issued a sanction and ruled that the court could hear his testimony, but the jurors would be informed about this. Today, David talked about visiting Rexburg with Melanie in September of 2019. He said on that Sunday that he was there, Lori told him Alex was babysitting JJ. David says he then saw JJ that night around 1030 when he heard the front door open. Alex was carrying JJ and he was asleep. Then in the early hours of the morning, David said he had one of the worst nightmares of his life. Melanie said she was going to go get Lori to get Chad to give him a blessing, but came back and said she couldn't get anyone. The next morning, David did not see JJ. He says he asked Lori where JJ was, and she said he was acting out, and so Alex took him. That was on September 23rd of 2019. There's no known sighting of JJ after that date. David also revealed he asked Chad about his marriage with Tammy during that trip. He said Chad told him Tammy was a good wife, but her time was coming up. He said he had a dream that she was going to pass away by the time he was 50, and that he and Lori were going to be together and do their calling and gather the 144,000. Tammy died the next month. Earlier today, we also heard from Sydney Shank. She babysat JJ on September 19th in 2019 in Rexburg. She said when she first met Lori, Lori told her Charles recently died of a heart attack and JJ was having a hard time understanding what happened. She says after watching JJ that first day, she texted Lori a few days later, wondering when she could work again. She says Lori responded that JJ went to his grandmother for a month and she was in Hawaii. When she texted Lori again a month later, she says Lori never responded. The principal of the school in Rexburg where JJ was enrolled for a total of three weeks also testified that last day, the last day JJ was physically present at the school was on Friday, September 20th. He says Lori indicated she was removing JJ from school and sending him to Louisiana to be with his grandparents. The Dean of Students at BYU-Idaho also testified Tylee never applied, nor was a student there. And coming up at 4.30, we also heard from several investigators in this case. We'll share their testimony when I see you back here at 4.30. A Doug? lot happening in court today, Sheer. I know you'll break down more of that for us coming up in about a half hour. If you want even more behind the scenes coverage of the trial, check out our YouTube and KTVB Plus streaming show called Lori Vallow Inside the Courtroom.